Hello. So uh, today I want to talk about being blindsided. Um, it's never fun, <laughs> but it can be necessary uh, because it forces you to make a change when you would otherwise choose to stay in the same cycle that you're in. And uh, within the last two months or two months ago, uh, God actually blindsided me whenever I got fired from a job that I've worked, you know, at three different times over the last 10 years. And um, I think I've worked for a total of like almost four years there <laughs> over this entire decade. And uh, it was my first time ever being fired and it really hurt my pride. Uh, <laughs> I won't get into details, but I was angry. I was not happy. Uh, I was also distraught. And of course, as you know, life goes, you get worried about bills and because that was the only reason I actually got that job was to pay bills, you know, getting a car because we needed it and, you know, doing all the things and all of a sudden, not there. So I'm like, oh, okay, what are we going to do now? Um, so yeah, that job was the, and the re like the money was the only reason that I left yeah, being yeah. a stay at home mom and here goes my kid. I still had faith that everything would be fine, even in all the emotions. Um, I cried. I yelled a little bit. Uh, I didn't let myself get depressed for, you know, all of one day. <laughs> and uh, that was the amazing part. I was only unemployed for one day. Uh, God led me right back home with my spiritual family at the exact time that I was needed. And it was pretty amazing once I figured out how everything had fallen into place. And... Uh, you know, a week before, if I would have been like, hey, do you need help? Yeah, the answer would not have been the same as it was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but uh, in First Peter 5.10, of course, I like the Passion Translation. But it says, and then after your brief suffering, which in my case would have been a day of real suffering, although the one year of working there was not the easiest, uh, the God of all loving grace, who has called you to share in his eternal glory in Christ, will personally and powerfully restore you and make you stronger than ever. Yes, he will set you up firmly in place and build you up. I suffered for exactly a year. <laughs> and then, of course, the one day of, you know, actual depression. So, yeah. Um, and, of course, my husband's off on the weekends, but retail, I work retail, you don't get anything any days off really so of course whenever he wasn't working I was usually at work uh, it really kept my family time and especially after my son started going to school full-time it was like I'd get up get him ready to go to school and then I'd have like an hour and a half while I was trying to fix dinner that I didn't actually get to spend time with him and uh, you know after a while I managed to get Sundays off and because of religious reasons um, hang on um, but it really wasn't enough. Uh, I was tired. I was frustrated. I couldn't see the end of it. And I would frequently go to work crying <laughs> because I miss my family. Um, and y'all know I'm not a crier. Um, but retail will make you cry. <laughs> uh, but uh, I finally accepted that that was my life, even though I still wasn't happy about it. I saved up time to, you know, brightly call in whenever I needed to fulfill responsibilities with the church. And, um, because I'm a member of the worship team, I have responsibilities and things that I've held to for a decade like I really think about it and I've been at this a while and so that was that's important to me and it's not the first time I've left this place because I couldn't get the time off that I needed to fulfill these responsibilities and my duties and uh so um but yeah, it was one of those things, it's like what the enemy thought would be a stumbling block for me, God used it to build my faith and put me back where I needed to be, and now I have, you know, weekends off, and I have family time, and because I'm with my my tribe, everybody understands, because we were like all in everybody's business <laughs> at the time anyway, and uh, yeah, the enemy wasn't happy. Uh, the night before I started back to work was one of the hardest nights I've had, because I've, I've suffered from like sleep paralysis and all the bad things with things that go bump at the night. Um, but I'd gotten over that. And so it was like the first time in years that I'd 
experience that. He tried to tear me down and scare me and make me weary and, like, try to ruin my rest whenever I needed to be, you know, ready. But God showed me how to fight against that also. So even though it happens and it's terrifying, my God guides me out of it. <laughs> like, he's, I know how to fight because he showed me how to. Uh, so I didn't fall for it. Still tripped out a little bit because that's how it is. Because that stuff's it's pretty rough, but uh, you know everything's good. <laughs> I had to fight a little bit. I had to get over myself, and because it just came out of nowhere, you can't. If you can plan for something, it's like oh, I can fix it. I didn't need to fix it. I just need to let it happen. I'll get you something in a minute, <laughs> and uh. I just had to have faith that everything would go through at the right time. Uh, because God knows your heart. He knows your joy and your suffering. Uh, no matter what comes at you, know that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, and yes, you may have to suffer a bit. The Bible says it. <laughs> it's not all hunky-dory. Uh, but I have a stronger faith now than I did two months ago before all this happened. Um I'm happier <laughs> than I was two months ago. I'm a lot less stressed out. I get to spend time with my family. And even though I'm not <laughs> making the money that I was before, it's not the first time I've left a job and taken a pay cut. And I was happier for it. So money is not everything. Yes, it makes the world go around, but it doesn't really. Um, God is still providing abundantly for my every need, even though, if you know, that part's not what it was. It doesn't have to be what it was, so you can take care of it. It's fine. <laughs> you just have to have faith, because he is Jehovah Jireh, and he, the Lord who provides. So, uh, yeah, just have some faith that even if you're blindsided, and it looks rough, and you may be up in your feelings, uh, you'll get through it. Just just have some faith. Every, <laughs> everything is in his timing. I'm sorry, guys. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>